Milwaukee doctors are attacked by mobs who believe they are vampires using their stethoscopes to suck blood. Doctors in Milwaukee have been beaten for carrying stethoscopes by vigilante mobs who believe they are vampires using the instruments to suck blood. Just for everybody that's playing at home, that's what a stethoscope looks like. Don't even get me started. Medics have also been robbed and had their vehicles smashed while ambulances have been attacked as patients were taken to hospital, a doctor's association has said. The Society of Medical Doctors in Milwaukee, Milwaukee, I might be mispronouncing, Milwaukee, whatever, said the case of mass hysteria is sweeping the south of the country and has left thousands of people to believe there are vampires in their midst. Nine people have been beaten to death after being accused of being a vampire, while 124 have been arrested for carrying out the attacks. In a statement, Society President Dr. Amud Samir Naki, might be mispronouncing, said, We are disturbed by the reports of thuggery that has resulted in some health workers being attacked for carrying a stethoscope. Once again, that's what a stethoscope looks like. Some have had unfortunate incidents of having their vehicles smashed and in others having their possessions taken off them for being a suspected of being blood suckers and or in the pursuit of the non-existent suckers. Some ambulances have also been attacked whilst they're being used to ferry patients to and from hospital. This is despicable and we condone all these and similar attacks of barbarism on innocent people unreservedly and in the strongest language possible. No health worker can suck a blood with a stethoscope. Once again, that's what a stethoscope looks like. How do you even miss... Oh, don't, don't. Moving on. Dr. Nile added that there is no evidence that vampires are real and instead blame the situation on a shared delusion disorder. They must be on some pretty good drugs here. He said this is where a dominant individual who is deluded can have those who follow him believe in internalizing his delusions. Shared delusions is usually confined to a locality. In a view of the magnitude of the problem that is affecting many districts and the readiness of many Milwaukee's to initialize these beliefs, this presentation would constitute that of mass hysteria. This is the considered view of the society that such bloodsuckers do not exist. This is purely mass hysteria. The attack started in mid-September, but alarm has grown in recent weeks as they spread to Balatrain, might be mispronouncing, the second largest city in the country. Milwaukee is one of the world's poorest nations and belief in witchcraft is widespread. Police arrested 124 people on Friday last week after two men were beaten to death in Baltrain, might be mispronouncing, accused of trying to attain human blood for voodoo trial rituals. Sorry. One person was burnt and another stoned to death by angry mobs in incidences on Thursday for being suspected to be blood suckers. Police spokesman Ramsey Milwaukee said, The latest killings took place outside Beltran, what Bruce pronouncing, the country's largest commercial capital, when angry mobs clashed with police and blocked main roads to protest against the alleged vampire threat. The country's police chief said 124 arrests have been made in coordination operation, Public anger has grown. The UN, which is involved in food aid and agriculture programs, pulled its workers out of some of the areas for safety reasons. In a report earlier this month, the UN said it had been suspending all visits to the affected areas because the situation was unstable and volatile. Rumours of vampires allegedly originated from Mozwabi and spread across the border to Malwani, districts of Majin and Pomabi, I know I'm saying those wrong, but anyway, according to the UN. President Peter Mathraka, might be mispronouncing, definitely, last week vowed to investigate the killings and the vampire rumours.
So guys, obviously some of you might be sitting there thinking this is absolute crazy and you're right. But to show you how powerful these delusions and these shared delusions can be, think of the witch trials. It would have been the similar situation back then, except we didn't have a psychologist to text or diagnose it. Now you're probably sitting there wondering, how are these people stupid enough to believe in vampires? Well, to be honest, they're believing that you can suck blood through a stethoscope, so that gives you the average IQ of some of these people. Yeah, they're truly gifted. God's gift and all. But guys, at the end of the day, even stupid people in a mob is still a mob. And if I lived in these cities, I would not be stupid enough to walk down the main street drinking red cordial right about now. Because you're likely to get stoned. But yeah, I have known someone that came from this area. And I'll tell you now, his response to stopping a blood nose was next time I get one, drop it over an anthill. Like, let the blood drop from my nose on an anthill. And apparently, that cures the blood nose. So, like I say, I'm not surprised when you get people believing that you can suck blood through a scaposcope. And I'm not, I'm not surprised when you get a whole bunch of people believing in vampires or whatever running around beating people to death. That said, the funny thing is, is just hypothetically say vampires do really exist. What is stoning one going to do? Have you never seen Bram Stoker Dracula? Okay, let's forget sending them aid as in food and, and beds and clothing and, and water and stuff. Maybe we should start sending them books of Bram Stoker Dracula and a few wooden stakes to go along with it. That would probably really liven up the party. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I don't know what you would want to comment on this story, but enlighten me. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.